Okay, so now that we have created our wiki space, let's start building things to put in it. So on this home page that we have created here that represents the first module that is asking you to develop a who I am um, section to your wiki space, let's go back and review real fast. So here's our class landing pad, and if you scroll down through here, you'll see where it says important, read this first. And so it says that all applications we use in class use the same username and password to give you full access. And there it is. That's the username and password that you will be using. Notice the Glogster we're going to do a little bit differently, but no big deal. So we're going to do a Vokey right now, then we'll stop, we'll make another video about how to create a GoAnimate, stop, we will create another video, how to create a Glogster, and then stop, and finally we will create a, we'll put a counter and a revolver globe on this home page. Awful lot of stuff, isn't it? Well, let's get started by jumping to Vokey.com. Now I'm going to click on where it says log in and since I'm on a computer that I've used a lot it remembers who I am and so it's all set and ready to go and so I can click on well I will click on once I put in the right password I obviously changed it for our class I changed these passwords every time I do a new set of classes. That way you can't walk out knowing the password and the username uh, to use at a later date unless you contact me and then I'll be glad to share the information with you. All right, so we're logging in as sbswan02 at louisville.edu password ulit241 just like we went over here in Blackboard. There it is. Okay, so once we log into the Vokey site, as you can see, it gets a little busy because a lot of students have used this site. Um, this is about as easy a thing to do. What, it'll, what gets you going is you get lost in the creation piece. So I'm going to run through it quickly. Don't feel like you got to do that. Take your time. Have fun. So I'm going to create a new Vokey. I clicked on the button that said create a new Vokey. Well, this certainly isn't what I look like. So I need to start with finding a new body and head. I can tell that the only ones I want to see are males. And I can scroll down through here. My problem when I do this is I have to be aware of the fact that I have a beard. And so when I click on it, if there is something that says it has a little mustache next to it, then I know that I can actually create a Vokey with a beard. Now, for those of you young ladies who are in our class, you don't need to worry about this. Um, you're going to be basically clicking on to see all the females. And then it'll show you what all the females are. Now, notice there's not just one category. You can click around and you can find all kinds of different ways to represent yourself. Okay? It's that simple. Pay no attention to that dog barking in the background. So I've got my guy. Um, he, looks, he looks pretty good. So I can tweak him so that his uh, body, his his body I can make it a little bit bigger and I can keep the height I think the height's fine I can play around with the width of my head if I wanted to it's kind of bizarre looking isn't it then I can move on to the hair when I'm uh, I mean yeah to the hair and I'm looking at his hair and it's 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 okay maybe I would take this one or I could just be totally bald if I wanted to. But I think I'll just go with this guy. 
I now come over here to where the facial hair part is and I can pretty well get a nice little, I don't have a goatee. Actually, I have something that looks more like this. It's just not that long. But I'll go with this for right now. Color, I can tweak the color. Um, hair, since I'm an old guy, I've got definitely old guy hair color. So I can play around with however I want to play around in terms of eyes and everything. Okay? Nice, very straightforward. I can change my clothing. So if I want something a little more, you know, casual, I guess, although it's pretty casual, I can do that. By the way, you notice every time I do this, there are different categories. I could put a hat on if I wanted to. Eh, I don't think so. Under bling, this is where your glasses are or any kind of jewelry you might wear. Um, these actually look more like the kind of glasses I wear. Well, I don't have, they're not tinted, though. Um, I could go with those. You get the idea. I'm basically building what I want my character to look like. Once I get everything on the look done, I'm going to click on Done. And right here is where it says Backgrounds. And I can put a different background to my guy. Now, notice you've got those categories again. So I can do all kinds of strange things. I could uh, be at a ball game. Um, I can be indoors in a classroom if I wanted to. There we go. I could be out at a party at a nightlife. <laughs> I could be city. I can be outdoors. I think I'm going to go with the outdoors one. Let's see if I can find a nice outdoor scene that I would enjoy being in. Uh, snow. Eh. Let's see. Let's try one more. Let's try travel. Bingo. Let's see here. Where do I want to be? I could be in San Francisco. But I think I'd rather be where the palm trees are. So there we are. So now I've done that. Okay, the last thing I want to do is to add my voice to my Vokey. So you can do that two ways. You can click here. And the assignment is for you to put in your philosophy of education. In other words, what drives you as a teacher. Notice down here that it already understands that I am speaking English. My goodness, look at all the different ways, uh, the accents that it can use. Pretty remarkable. Um, and you can pick the character that you want to use that is speaking for you. And then you can type it in. And it's pretty good about recognizing uh, what you type. You can hear it. So you know what it's going to sound like. Children can learn. There's a little bit of a pause at the beginning. And so I've, I've played around with this. Let me show you what I do. I kind of put a little space in the front. All children can learn. You see what happens? It, it recognizes the space as a pause, and so it doesn't start talking until that pause or it's out of the way. So if you put a couple of spaces in front of it, it'll say it uh, more correctly for you. Now, here's one where you can actually record with a microphone. I will be honest with you. This one, I'm on a Macintosh right now. This one doesn't play nice with a Mac. And in fact, it doesn't really play nice with PCs either. Because this is all flash based. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this a whirl and we'll see what happens. So as you can see it's waiting for me to record and so I can click on where it says record. All children can learn. It's only the teachers who keep them 
from learning. And I'm going to stop it. And as you see, I can't stop it. So that's a problem with Flash. So I would recommend that we stick with using typing in the text. Children can learn. Okay. Make sure get that space in front of it. All children can learn. There we go. He's getting a little fed up with me playing it over and over again. You can hear it in his voice. All right, at this point, I'm going to say I'm done. Uh, the player just is what the player looks like over here. In other words, if I want to change how the player actually appears, I can. Really, all it does is just change the colors. Um, and now I'm ready. Get ready, because here, if you can understand this, then you've got the rest of the class licked. I'm going to click on where it says Publish. What it wants me to do is to come up with a name. Well, okay. So I'm going to call it Steve Swan. Simple as that. And I'm going to save it. And it says, my scene has been saved. That's what it likes to call it. Now, look what we can do here. It says, set the size for your Vokey. Well, if you look at it, 200 by 267, let's look at our other choices. The biggest one is 300 by 400. Think about the size of your wiki. It is close to about 900 pixels wide. Okay? So this gives you an idea of how much space it's going to take up. The large one is going to pretty well fit eh, close to maybe a third to a quarter, a quarter to a third of your page. I'm going to go ahead and say I want it large. Um, and then, here we go. This is where the magic happens. I'm going to click down here where it says grab the code and place it on your web page. I'm going to, <clears throat> instead of trying to highlight all this at once, I'm just going to use my keyboard commands. And, or I'm going to right click on it and say select all. Or uh, control A or Apple A. Whatever you're comfortable with. And then I'm going to right click on it again, and I'm going to copy. Again, if I run a keyboard, that would be a control C or an Apple C. Okay, I've gotten the code. I'm now going to jump back to my wiki page. What's the first thing we have to do to work a wiki page? After we've logged in, edit. So here I am. Uh, I was playing around earlier. I'm going to tell it to ignore that. What else did we remember? We remember that we can't move things around on the screen. So where that cursor ends up is where our little Vokey is going to end up. So I'm going to move it down, oh, about two, three lines from my picture. I'm going to go to Widget. I'm going to come down to where it says Other HTML. I get a box. I'm going to, again, right-click Paste, or Control-V, or Apple-V, depending upon what platform you're on. If I'm paranoid, <laughs> I can hit the Preview button just to see if things are going to work. But I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now, notice there's this little gray box sitting right here. The gray box is basically telling you that things worked. If you don't get the gray box, then something didn't happen right. I'm going to come up here to where it says Save. And what it does now is it saves my page, and now my Vokey works within that page. You can see it's fairly large. And the thing that drives everybody crazy about these is when you move your mouse around on the page, it causes the, the Vokey to move around and watch your mouse while you're moving it. Uh, hilarious when you're in a classroom with little kids because they, they think the thing is really watching them. I click on where it uh, has the play button. Children can learn. Okay. And he speaks my philosophy. Now, the coolness thing about this is if you jump right back in here and you go back to where it says edit your Vokey, 
And if you want to change what your Vokey says, so I'm going to change my Vokey saying here, no one of us is any smarter than all of us. Okay. Now, remember the trick. So I'm going to put a couple of spaces in front of the N. One, two. I'll play it just to make sure I hear it. This is any smarter than all of us. Oops. Okay, so I need to give him more chance to talk, so I'll put more spaces. Oops. I'll put more spaces in front of it. This is any smarter than all of us. All right, he's being a little stubborn. I'm going to go ahead and say done. And I'm going to go ahead and publish. And so it's just so easy, if I want to, to change this. Children can learn. And if I want to have him a different, what he says, let's go through the steps again. I published. I'm going to go for a small one this time. Go down here, right click, select all, right click, copy, come back to my wiki space. I'm going to say, eh, that's too big. So all I have to do is just highlight the gray box, hit delete, backspace, come over to widget, other HTML, paste in the code, save. If I get a gray box, I know life is good. And I save it again. And this time, I have a much smaller book. us is any smarter than all of us. So you, as you can see, you can play around with what the Vokey, how much room it takes up on your page. But the idea here is, is you're basically going to put down your thinking about your philosophy of teaching. Now, um, please understand, you can write a pretty good sized paragraph here if you want to. Um, and I think that you don't necessarily have to go to all that trouble, but try to come up with something that's even more unique um, and different than what I did. Now tell me, was that easy or was that easy? So there's our first thing that we've added now to our wiki space. We now have a Vokey that basically describes our philosophy in education.